at the moment is quiet, but here at the registration center, it's a bit, it's a bit tense because actually there are quite a lot of people queuing uh, and there have been a few, not really clashes, but there will be people a bit anxious. <laughs> They don't know exactly where they will be dispatched to. They will be given a choice between two regions in France, and then they will be basically put on buses and they will be dispatched. But they don't know, they won't know exactly where they're going to until the very last minute. Uh, I mean, in terms of you know human rights standards and etc., it's not ideal, it's not good, because when you evict people from an informal settlement, you know, there must be a consultation in advance, and, for example, people should know, should have uh, thorough information about uh, the rehousing opportunities. For minors, it will be a different procedure. There will be joint interviews. There will be one representative of the British Home Office and one representative of the Ministry of Interior in France. And then they will be rehoused provisionally in a centre, in a container centre, which is in fact here at the car. people who will stay until the end and then actually have one question for us in fact is how those people who do not want to leave the camp how they will be moved away uh, so our point is also that we are here because we want to monitor how force will be used towards people who do not want to leave our main aim is to see to check that police does not use the force disproportionately. But it's a bit early now to draw conclusions on that because actually it's just the first day, the first morning, so it has been quiet.